This normal group of high school's besties thought like was perfect. Until it wasn't. <laughs> This is Gerald, and this is his girlfriend Kaylee, and they have a very odd relationship. Gerald was a bit of an abusive boyfriend, but even though he was abusive, for some reason Kaylee still loved him. So what you doing later on today? Why are you waving at home? Why are you waving at home? Are you speaking with him? No, no. Hmm? No. Oh, that's what I thought. You're supposed to be only loyal to me. Now let's go to five. Oh. oh my god, girl. I gotta tell you about something that happened last night. So I went to this party and it was like a whole bunch of people. What did they were bad? Mm -hmm. I just need a prank to fix a lot of my equipment. I gotta go check on him. I'll be back, okay? Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh, I need to tell Gerald about this. <laughs> Gerald, Gerald, did you see what happened? What happened? Wait, can you tell me she got stolen again from Do you know, has any clue who this could be? No, I don't know who. <laughs> Can you stop being delusional? Stop being Leah, you just don't get it. It's because you can't find a man, and it's okay. And your man beats you. But my man beats me. Your man that's, beats you. That's not the point. Like, that's not the point. He cares about You're gonna me. break up and with him tonight. No. Yes. No. Yes. One hour later. Yeah. Hey babe, how are you? Oh, that's good. You need to talk about something important. Can you meet me at the cut at Stone Ridge in an hour and 30 minutes? All right, bye. I see you made it. Give me a second, I need to go use the bathroom. All right. Five minutes later. She dead, wait, hold on. Bruh, 911, bruh, she dead, bruh. Hello? Bruh, y'all on the way? All right, bruh. I'm scared. Hello, I need EMS. I just found a teenage girl dead in the woods. Oh, my God. I'm so scared, man. Kaylee had been unfortunately murdered by two unknown suspects. Mom, I wonder who would do such a thing. While examining the victim's body, I found strangulation marks around the neck and bruising around the eyes. These are both indicators of a, some type of struggle or our victim could have endured some type of beating before or after this incident. I also found a bullet wound to her head. This is what would cause her death. We're here today to remember the life of Kaylee White. She was loved by all. She was an amazing person. It's sad she was taken away from us.
gentlemen, rise for honorable judge. Everyone may be seated. Gerald Brown, you have been accused with the murder of Kaylee White. Lawyers, Mr. Smith, you may come forward and begin your opening statement. I'm Mr. Smith and I'll be representing Gerald Brown today. My client didn't do it, period. I'm here representing Kaylee White. She is a victim of unknown intention. I will now call the defendant to the stand. I wouldn't do such a thing. I love it. <laughs> you may sit down, Mr. Brown. Well, she's not here to testify against herself. Leah Miller, please stand up and state your name. My name is Leah Miller and I am here on my best friend Kaylee's behalf. She was having some very troubling events in her relationship with Gerald and it caused her to turn to drugs for support. But she loved Gerald very much and he loved her. And I know for a fact he would never hurt her to this degree. There was a witness who actually called the police to the scene. State your name and what you found that night. My name is Darius and I had visited her because we had a project together for science. And when I finally found her, she was already dead from a gunshot. I immediately called the police. Now we will call the coroner to the stand. When we examined her body, we found a bullet wound and strangle marks on her neck. We also found fingerprints on a discarded gun in a trash can and a bloody footprint leading away from the body. But what she forgot to mention is that she had perks in her system and she was addicted. He did it! No, he did it! No, he did it! Bro. He's innocent! He's innocent! We will not have this. Thank you for your time, but we're gonna let the jury decide the verdict. After careful deliberation, we, the court, have found Gerald Fitzgerald not guilty. Oh! 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 You finally killed that. And now we can finally be together. I'll be right back. I have to go pee. Damn. I really just killed my girlfriend. I gotta kill myself. I felt too guilty. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 